G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm Julie. Hi, <laughs> in case you didn't know who I am. Right, now, uh, I'm going to do another bowl with my new mould that I made. I did this one. Do you remember this one? Um, and I did the 3D sort of bloom or flower. But I didn't wait until my resin was thick enough. So it's a bit blobby, which it's still really beautiful. I love it. But instead of waiting for it, for it to get to 40 degrees, I'm waiting for it to get to 50 degrees. And I'm going to start. So I know I'm a few minutes off the time yet but let's just have a little actually I'll get started with my colors what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, black around the edge so I'm going to put a little bit of black that's this little piggy in here let's do a, a scoop I don't think I need too much I just want a little bit around the outside and then I've got their bling it interference gold and I'm going to put a, a scoop of that in there. Actually, I may need a little bit more. I better not put the lids on just yet. Um, I'm going to do white. The angel white from Lorez, which is what I'm going to do my blooms with, my flowers. I've got these. Um, they're all different colours, like little, little glass chips. I'm going to go with the gold. And then I'm going to edge the outside of it with a gold pen. So I'm going to use these. I probably don't even need to like mix them into a cup of resin. I'll just sprinkle some in. So they're kind of a metallic. So they're quite heavy. They're not going to spread. But let's just see how we're going for temperature. So I want it to be kind of at about 45, 47 degrees Celsius. And then I can start. Oh, 42. 43, 44 and a half, so I think that should be 45 and a half, all right, so I'm going to get started, I'm going to decant that, I'm just going to clean off my little thermometer with some alcohol, and we're going to get started decanting this resin because I want to get it out before it gets too much hotter. So <clears throat> let's put some in here. Mm, maybe half a little cup. Actually, maybe a little bit more. And I want to put 40 grams in this one. This is going to be for my white forty grams in that thirty four thirty six thirty eight thirty there we go forty forty three that doesn't matter close enough all right let's move that out of the way let's stir these up And hopefully, I <clears throat> might have to make it a little bit more opaque. So two scoops of that one. And then we'll do two scoops of the other one as well. I don't want it to be too sort of transparent. Never used these two colours together, so I'm not sure what's going to do, but I'm hoping to get a few nice, sort of pretty effects. So that resin was sitting. This is the Platinum Ultra Clear, um, just the regular, not the food grade. And I stopped stirring at 20 past four, and it's now five o'clock. So. That took uh, 40 minutes to get to almost 50 degrees, but I think by the time I start piping, whoops, what's that? 
It's going to be almost 50 degrees. Oh, get out of my mould, you. What are you? Gosh. All right. I'm going to make a little, make a start because I want to get the resin out of that jug before it gets too hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour a little bit around the outside. So this is my 24 centimeter mold that I made. This is my large. I've got a small and a medium. There's a 22, a 24, and a 26. What did I do it the other way? 20, 22, 24. Gee, I can't even remember now. Anyway, this is the large one. And then I've got the huge one, the extra large one, which is really big. I can't even remember what size this is now. Okay, um, I'm going to get myself a little wipe out. So that's my little black edge there. I'm just going to push that black into the sides there. Have I gone all the way around? Push it in. Hoping to get some pretty effects. And now the gold. I'm just going to put next to it. This is the Interference by Pearl X. It's a really pretty colour. Love it. I'm hoping that I'm going to get some really nice effects from these two together. That'll do. I don't think I need all of it. So those are those ones. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour the rest into the centre. It'll push out and it'll pull the colour back in again. It's really quite warm now, this resin, so push it all, put it all in at once. So you really want it to really push out and then back in again. I made up, I'll tell you in a minute how much I made up. I made up 225 grams of A and 97 grams of B. Look, it's starting to do its thing already. I'm just going to put that off to the side. Put those off to the side. Make some room. All right, so that's going to start cooling down now because it's in it's in its little. It's been poured out, so it'll start cooling down. It won't sort of continue to heat up as fast. So that's that's my main um, objective there, trying to just get it into the mold. Um, and hopefully we'll get some really pretty effects happening. Oh. I might not have stirred in my, stirred up my um, mica enough. I wasn't concentrating. Those little bits of mica powder. I'm going to stir it in really well. That'll be all right. Um, now, with the angel white, I'm just going to stir it like that. I'm going to scrape off one side like that. This is a small stick. Um, and then whatever's left on is what I'm using. So that's how I'm doing it. <laughs> There's no measuring and weighing and counting. Gee, I should have stirred in that um, interference a little bit better, shouldn't I? Yep, yep, yep. I think I was distracted. <laughs> I'm always worried that I'm going to go over the temperature and it seizes up on me and fast cures. I did that the other day. I used the Platinum Ultra Clear Food Grade. <laughs> oh, what a disaster that was. You can't, um, because it sets up fast, it's, <laughs> you can't really use it for this technique. This one, you need something that sets really slowly. Alrighty. <clears throat> now, this little bit here, I think what I'll do is, I wonder if I can get a scoop. I don't want to spill it everywhere. Add it to the center because it's <clears throat> excuse me because it's like a, a crushed glass like a rock type thing um, I don't think it'll fly away as much as you know, mica powders would or um, you know the gold leaf sometimes I use that but I thought I'll just change it up a little bit and use this so I haven't used it before enough. I don't think I want 
too too much hopefully I'm in the center that'll do put the little lid on keep him for next time all right another torch popping bubbles this resin is um, it's a really thin resin <clears throat> excuse me frog in my throat tonight I find when I torch, I get these little dots. I must see the bubbles must be um, popping and then they make these little dots. Which is a bit strange. Alright, now this doesn't feel really thin. Actually, I'm going to take that one's temperature just to see what it's doing for my records. It still feels quite thin. Let's have a look. So I know... Forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven. So I really wanted to get to about fifty before I start. Looks as if it's going to stick to 47.7. Oh, 48. All right. Let me clean this off. It's, it's pretty close. Like last time, I think I popped it. Oh, I started decanting at like 37 degrees and I was all in a fluster because I was thinking it was going to go over temperature. And But you want it to start thickening. Like it does feel warm. It's not burning me or anything, but it does feel warm. Now, body temperature is about 36 and a half, 37, so that's at um, 47, so 10 degrees warmer than a body temperature. And you can see how that's already coming in from the outside. Um, I, I don't particularly want the whole thing to cover up, but I would like some colour on the outside. So let's get going. We'll start to start doing some piping. We don't need 40 grams in there. Normally I use 30 grams, which is one ounce, but I thought I'll do 40. I wonder if I can zoom you in a little bit. I'm just going to see if I can. I'm going to take my glove off and see if I can. Zoom you in a bit. How's that? It's a bit closer, isn't it? Oh, my little gold centre looks a bit out of centre. <laughs> I lay this down while I was doing it. And I thought, oh gosh, now it's all running out. All right. Um, now let's get a piece of paper towel organised just to sit here. I'm going to catch my drips on. It's a bit off center this it's a bit needs to come this way a little bit more I should probably get that hair out as well while I'm here um, was it toothpick I can see a, a hair or something I think I've got it. I better torch again because I've made some bubbles there now. <clears throat> Moving the stones around. Okay, so this is nice and warm now. I'm going to snip the top off. And I like to make a pretty decent um, hole. If you make, if you do your piping a bit thin, the white. You need to have your white thick enough so that it actually can spread, like it can move with the resin. So if you don't make it thick enough, it can't do that. All right, so does that make sense?
you have to have a decent thickness otherwise when it tries to to spread it won't be able to all right it's dripping out a little bit fast i'm gonna go for it must be at about 50 degrees now surely to goodness surely to goodness shouldn't it all right um i'm gonna just I'll kind of do this around the outside see what that does <laughs> have a little play all right here we go I'm just going to use up all this resin this white resin that I've got That's about it. <clears throat> oh, that's it. And now I'm just going to kind of give it a bit of a, a swirl. I'm not touching the stones on the bottom. I'm just swirling the top there like so. Actually, I've got a little bit more left. I'll do a, another row up here because I can. It's not going to sink too much. All right, so now that's that's pretty much empty. Now I'm going to get my heat gun, give it a little bit of heat, and um, we'll see if it's going to actually do anything. Just heating it from the outside in, kind of pushing it from the outside in. You don't want to overheat it because um, you've just waited all this time for your resin to, you know, thicken up. So the last thing you want to do is overheat it and then it gets all thin again. I'm hoping that we'll get a bit of movement. movement in these center ones here than I am with the outer ones for some reason. Outer ones, I should just leave that, the outer ones, okay it's because they've got color underneath them, yeah, mm, interesting hey, yeah because the outer ones there which are really thin they're sitting on top of the um, mica powder and then these center ones that are blooming, that are getting bigger, they don't have any mica powder under them. So I wonder what it's going to do. I'm pretty sure I made them like as thick when I was piping. I'm pretty sure I made them as thick as these ones, but they just look different because they're sitting on the, the mica powder. Ooh, interesting, interesting. But, uh, oh gosh, torch again. I made some bubbles doing all of that. You dropped a piece of sticky tape into it. All right, I'm going to get you down and have a little, have a little close up and see what it's doing. Come around. Okay, so you can see how the black and the gold along the edge there have kind of melded together and of making these really pretty striations it looks like fur and then see how the areas there the white areas on top of the mica are really thin and then the ones here in the middle that don't have any mica are really quite thick so those are blooming nicely I wonder if the others are actually doing anything it's a bit hard to see 
but I wanted to try it just to see what happened. They look as if they're spreading. So it's hard to know because the, the white may have actually dropped through the mica and may be blooming on the other side. I, I don't know and we won't know until I uh, unmold tomorrow. So yeah, and I wanted some clear. I mean, I don't know whether that's all going to get pulled into the centre, but I was kind of hoping for a little bit of clear. So yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what it's going to do. But at the moment, it's looking really pretty. Isn't it funny? I put the black along the edge here, and then the gold, and now I've got gold on the edge, and then the black. Hey, how does that happen? <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I'm just going to have to be patient now. I have to work tomorrow, but I will come and unmold this. Um, oh, actually, am I turning it into a bowl? I don't know. If I'm turning it into a bowl, which actually I thought I was going to. What's the time? 20 past five. I may be back and turn it into a bowl. I'll see how it goes. I think the last one took five hours we're just going to make it 10 20 which might be a little bit late considering i have to work tomorrow but we'll see we'll see if, if i do a bowl i'll come back early and if i don't then i'll be back in the morning <laughs> either way you'll see it unmolded all right is it changing these look wider it looks like a staircase doop, 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 doop. going down the stairs all right enough of that silly nonsense I'll see you real soon for whatever I decide to do next. Hey guys, it's the next day. I did check it last night at 10 o'clock and it was still quite soft and, you know, it left fingerprints and things like that and really bendy. So I thought I'm not going to wait. I went to bed. <laughs> so it's the next day. It's probably still a little bit bendy actually yeah, it is look I might even be able to form it into a bowl if I really tried but I'm more keen to see what it's going to look like on the other side so let's do that it comes out really easily because I did it quite late last night didn't I the actual pour itself see it's still bendy I probably could um normally I you, know, you wait 24 hours for this resin um what time did I do it it's about 5 30 wasn't it I think. Yeah, it was about 5.30, so now it's 6.30. So it's only been 13 hours instead of like 24, so I probably could bend it. But anyway, let's have a little look. That's the top. And look, there's things going on underneath. You can see through there. It's Something's happening on the back. So I'm super excited to see what it's going to look like. I'm a little bit concerned that that's my centre instead of that's my centre where the stones are. But anyway, without further ado, let's do this, hey? How do I turn it? It's big. Ooh! Oh, it's a little bit blobby still. That's pretty, though. Here's not blobby. It's just blobby in the middle where I've put extra in. Maybe it was a little bit too much. My center's in my center, so that's good. I like these. It's just this this bit here obviously had a little bit too much because it went up and down and up and down and up and down. So this area in the middle got lots. When I sort of just go around like that and then pull the stick through, you don't have that problem. So maybe that's another way of doing it. But um, yeah, it's turned out not bad, hey? That's the top. So we've got the striations on the top, but um, not really on the bottom. We've got we've got that black ring around the edge. That's where I poured the black first. So that stayed there, but on the other side, it's different. Oh, I thought we was going to have some nice petals. See that in there? I thought it was going to be nice petals on the back, but they've kind of been they've kind of been hidden. They they they're there, but they're under the mica powder. Really weird. Okay. Oh, well, I wanted to try it. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> oh. 
Right, let's do a little bit of gold just to see what it's going to look like. I'm actually just going to do the top edge here. I just want to see, because I've got the black there, which is what I wanted, like as a border. So I'm just going to run the my gold pen around the very edge like that, just to give the border a little bit of a gold edge. Oops, wrong way. Seems to sit better as a pen on one particular way where I've probably used it before and it's got a little groove there where it sits on the very edge. Oops. May even have been able to leave my resin a little bit longer because I've got some really pretty petals in here. But um, I may could have pushed it a little bit longer actually like because I think I, I waited till about 47 degrees didn't I and then decanted might leave it next time to 50 degrees and then decant because as soon as you decant it starts cooling off again there we go look nearly done there we go there we go nice little gold edge hey just finishes it off nicely. So there we go. The black kind of just looks like silver underneath the white, doesn't it? So it kind of looks black, white and silver with a bit of, with the gold. I actually quite like it. I mean, like I said, I don't really like the blobbies in the middle, but um, yeah, next time I will wait. I'll make a note of it. I'll wait till 50 degrees and um, we'll go again. But what do you think of this look here underneath? It's sort of sitting underneath the mica powder. Do you like that kind of look? <laughs> all right. I'm going to go and get ready for work. A shame I can't stay and play all day long. So there's that one. And then there was that one that I did. That one was, I did the, the piping a lot sort of finer, but I still got the blobbies there. So they were both pretty. I think I probably prefer this one. Anyway, there it is. Love it or hate it, there she is. I really like it. Right, uh, thanks for watching everybody and I will see you real soon for the next video. Okay, bye for now.